On returning to her native village of Desenzano, without family or a place to live, she wondered what she was supposed to do, enter a monastery or what. She was both dismayed and appalled at the lack of education. She was praying, entreating God to show her his plan. You sent me back here, but what am I supposed to do? Enlighten me, please, Lord. The Lord responded by filling the air with the sweetest perfume. The birds began to chirp happily in the trees. The sky opened up, the clouds disappeared, and lo and behold, Angela saw a procession of a splendid celestial company of angels and virgins descending two by two from heaven, processing down a regal, magnificent staircase. Angels were playing various instruments, accompanying the virgins who were singing. Then, who passed the others, coming toward Angela but her sister, who had died. She looked beautiful and oh so happy. She told Angela that the Lord wanted to use her, that it was his desire she form a company of virgins with whom the task he had planned for her would come about, and that this company was to be formed in Brescia. Now Angela preferred to join a contemplative order and serve her Lord in the cloister, but it was obvious the Lord wanted her to be a religious in the world, serving him through serving his children out in the world. <laughs>